This is Steve Wright for YUV Soft with an overview of the 2D to 3D stereo conversion workflow using the YUV Soft 2D to 3D suite with Nuke. Conventional 2D to 3D stereo conversion is expensive because it's so labor intensive. YUV Soft's 2D to 3D suite of tools is a breakthrough in cost effective stereo conversion because it dramatically lowers the manual labor involved. In this video, we're going to show how to make this depth map using only two key frames. Let me turn the viewer gamma down so you can get a closer look. Look at all the detail in these bushes. Boy, I'd sure hate to have to paint that. But we can create all this detail using YUV Soft's image processing nodes and just a couple of key frames. Let me show you how it's done. Here is the rough depth map painted for the first, and notice it's all black, the last frames. So using just these two depth maps, again, very roughly painted, we'll feed that to the depth effects node. Now this node will produce a depth map, a preliminary depth map, using that rough depth map as a guide. Again, only on frame zero. If I go to frame one, there's nothing there, and we jump to the last frame. So we have a preliminary depth map for our first and last keyframes. Next, let's go to the depth brush node. The depth brush node is a special tool that allows the artist to paint masks for where special image processing is to occur. Again, the artist is not painting the depth map itself. This is just guidelines for the algorithms to use. Here's our finished painted depth map, and we can compare it to the original map here. Again, we just have two key frames, so the depth brush was only used on the first frame and the last frame. Next, the output of the depth brush node is then fed to the depth propagation node, which propagates the depth map over the entire clip. We'll open that up. Now, the depth propagation node simply has to be told where the key frames are. So, our first key frame is on frame zero. There's the playhead on zero. So, we'll click add a key frame. I have one keyframe now. Jump to the last frame and add that keyframe. I now have just two keyframes. I'm ready to click start in order to render all the propagated frames in between. We'll go back to the node graph and I can show you the results of that operation. And here's the output of the depth propagation node. We now have a depth map for every single frame of the clip, only by preparing keyframes on the first and last frame. Okay, we'll stop that. And now let's take a look at the finished stereo shot. So the depth map from the depth propagation node is fed into the stereo generator node, which then computes the stereo frames. Here we can see our left and right views, and I can set that to an anaglyph display. And here's our finished stereo clip in anaglyph. You paint fewer depth maps for fewer objects on fewer frames by using the YUV soft tools. With only two rough painted depth maps and two frames of depth brush touch-up, the depth maps for the entire shot were generated and the stereo version of the clip was rendered. This shot was a simple example to illustrate the general workflow. Next we'll see how to refine the generated depth maps when needed. As powerful as the YUV soft tools are, not every problem can be solved with automation. Here we'll take a look at how to quickly solve a problem in the finished depth map with compositing. The YUV Soft workflow is designed to allow the artist to intervene at any point to add just and only what is needed to finalize the depth map. Let's check out this shot here on frame 10 and take a look at the background depth map here. We don't have a good depth map for this pole or this car. Cars over here, poles over there. And now we can see the effect of this if we look at the stereo gen node. Okay, we have our left and right views, but the pole, there's no parallax between the pole and the background. So we need to fix our depth map, which is easily done. We would use this roto mask here. You can use YUV soft tools alongside standard compositing, roto, and paint tools to refine your depth maps. So using this mask, we used a compositing system to create this improved depth map. We'll compare that to the original. Now let's see the effect that it has on the stereo gen node. We'll switch over to the stereo gen node. 
push in a little bit, and then we'll hook in our improved depth map. And bang, there goes the light pole. As I shift between the two views, you can see there's parallax between the pole and the background. Although YUV Soft's focus is high quality feature film conversions, the tool set is designed to accommodate a range of quality requirements all the way down to standard depth video. You will also find that fewer clean plates are needed, and that's another big cost savings. There's something I wanted to show you in the stereo gen node. Let's open up the stereo gen node here. The stereo gen node makes it really easy to adjust not only the front to rear position of your clip, but also the depth or the parallax. If we want to move it front to rear, all we have to do is adjust the zero level to something like this. Now this area is at the screen plane and everything else is in screen space. With the previous zero level setting, the scene started at the screen plane, but with the new setting, it's pushed much deeper into screen space. I'm going to push it back where it was. Now, if you want to increase the depth of the scene, that's the parallax adjustment. I'm going to take the parallax from 100 to 200, and you can see the depth of the scene immediately increases. The YUV Soft 2D to 3D suite not only reduces the number of objects you must roto and paint, but it also reduces the number of frames to paint because you only need key frames. And the complete YUV Soft 2D to 3D suite is available for both Nuke and After Effects.